What's up champions? Welcome back to our show! Today in sunny Portugal we have a special episode for you. This season we have a new trend starting. It's called Jet E-Foils. And I'm very excited to introduce to you the new Jet E-Foil called Awake Winya. Joining me today a special guest Florian from Awake. Welcome Florian! Thanks Mike! It's uh, good to be back. I mean last year we had a good ride together on the Ravik 3 and Ravik S. And this year it's time to introduce you the new efforts that we've created uh, at Awake, so it's very exciting. And uh, we're going to be able to speak a little bit of what we've been doing during the winter with all the engineering team and uh, the riders from Awake. And uh, we're very happy of the results, so it's going to be your turn to get a try on it. Welcome! And of course joining me today Pedro, professional e-foil rider. So we are very interested to see his opinion of the new Awake e-foil. Welcome Thank you, Pedro! Me. Thank you for inviting me as always, Mike. It's always a pleasure to be with you and to test all these beautiful toys. Are you ready, guys? Let's do it! You know Awake doesn't need long introductions. This company has been doing premium quality Swedish jet boards for several years now. We have been testing the boards during the last years and you know these boards are very powerful and very strong and reach extremely high speeds. But today they have something new for you. This is the first jet e-fold they have been developing for quite a few years now and they're finally ready to introduce it to you. This is one of the first companies on the market to make a jet e-foil. So tell me Florian, why did you decide to go straight to jets without an open prop model? I mean, Awake, have you seen on the Ravik, we have uh, invented this linear jet system which catches the water straight under, underneath the water line and we kept the same model for, for the e-foil as well. It's both for efficiency, stability and safety uh, because the jets would give, would give you uh, more thrust and some grip underneath the water compared to an open propeller which is going to lose some uh, power out and uh, it's also very safe because as you see there is no sharp parts so even when you fall you will never be in contact with some blade so it's a few reasons for that it's also something very interesting that you will uh, be able to experience by yourself it's like when you go up on top of the water and if you take the jet outside of the water you have a constant water flow which means you're just gonna hear the jet getting out but you're gonna stay up and you're not gonna crash compared to a lot of uh, efforts we're gonna lose so much power and you're gonna nose dive and crash if you don't control your height properly and that's also very good when you learn and if you want to push out of turns because you're more confident uh, in your riding. Before we dive deep into jets, let's clear it out. I am still confused, to be honest, what's the difference between propeller, imperiler, the jet? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of different terms, but basically to summarize it quite quickly, the impeller is a spinning part inside a jet or inside a, a, like a housing, which rather than a propeller is the whole device which is open. And the jet is basically the full thing together like here, which is composed by the impeller, the stator, uh, the nozzle, which is going to compress the water and make it more efficient and have a different drive, all right? So, besides the security, uh, this kind of system, it's more efficient than the open propeller, is that? Yeah, exactly. It takes the water here and compress it out so you have a different thrust. So it's, yeah, it's uh, really good for stability in the water because you have this kind of like thin grip feeling uh, when you're underneath the water. It doesn't get affected so much by, uh, by the water moving and so on. So it has a lot of advantages as w on top of the safety. That's very interesting. And your company is known to make one of the biggest jets on the market. That's really a massive jet, especially comparing to other uh, jet falls that I've seen. And do you experience any drag with a jet that big? We don't actually. I mean, the system is made and I've been calculated. We have made a lot of prototyping. In the beginning, we had a lot of drag and now we've been working during the whole winter with all the whole team of engineers. And uh, now the, the system is very efficient. You'll have to try it to, to see it, but you'll see it's very smooth, super quiet and it really rides very, very uh, smoothly in the water. So it's uh, super interesting. It's, it's a different feeling. It's very hard to explain it with words. When you're going to put your feet on the board, you're going to feel it straight away. It's different. Very interesting. Another thing that I noticed is that other jet e that I've seen are using small jet and very big high aspect ratio wings because they need a lot of flotation to get going with the jet that is so small. In your case, I see the jet is quite big, but the wings are very small. So this is quite interesting, right? Yeah, I mean here on this board you have the setup with the 1350 wings. Uh, the powder wings are cruising wings, so they're pretty stable. Um, and we're also going to come in the market with the 1800, which is going to be able to fly with lower speed as well, depending on your weight and if you're a bit more beginner and so on. Um, but actually with the jet, which is quite powerful, we don't need such big wings neither because it pushes you more. 
So, and it also gives you stability through the jet, which means that you don't need as much as stability from the wing. So you can have something a bit more playful in the riding, but still keeping the stability from the ball. So this is where we can play a little bit different and have a different riding style, even with cruising wings. Okay, let's talk about numbers. So uh, for this board, it's a unique board. What's the, the volume for, for this board? I mean, on the Awake Vineyard this year, we come with a 60 liter board, which is for six foot uh, in length, which is around one meter 40 centimeters. Okay, so it's quite of a short board, but with generous volume, which helps you when you're starting. But as soon as you get in the air, you're not annoyed by a big board. So it's very much more agile when you're riding, actually. Okay, and, uh, and the mast, what's the size? The mast is 70 centimeters. What is quite interesting with the jet as well is like as you don't have anything on top of the jet, you use the full you use the size full of the mast. Size. And we went for 70 because it was for us, we've been testing all the different sizes. A good mix between being very playful, because if it's too short, you tend to touch and you lose a little bit of agility. And also having it not too long, because otherwise it can become a bit dangerous if you go too high after you can fall on the yeah. wing. So 70 centimeters was the right ratio between having something very fun to ride, but still very safe to ride as well. Okay, perfect. And uh, what's the total weight with, uh, with the battery? I mean, now with the um, XR battery, uh, total weight is 38 kilos. So what's quite interesting with this board is as you can take off the battery uh, very quick with just one handle, you can carry the board separated all the way to the water and then put the battery in and go straight to the water so you never be, be working with a 38 kilos board in your hand. So which makes it very, very accessible for people to go to the water. Okay, and uh, I know that you have two kinds of batteries, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the autonomy with each one? With the standard range battery, you have between 1 hour to 120 minutes. So this depends on how much you fly and your weight as well. Of course, if you, in the beginning, when you're pushing a lot of water, because you're not flying all the time, you're going to use more battery. When you start flying, you pretty much use anything because you don't touch the water. And with the XR battery, you have between 1.30 to 2 hours. And despite this quite a big weight, it's very playful. I've been seeing the video that you've been jumping, really aggressive carving. So it's quite playful, right? Yeah, I mean, you know at Awake we love performance and with the team we love to ride and jump and carve and so on. So of course in every product we're going to launch, you're going to be able to do some tricks and to push the limits because that's the DNA of the brand as well, make something accessible, but where people can really push the limits. So, and what's very interesting as well with the jet is when you want to jump, you get, you keep the power all the way out until the last touch from the water, you have trust pushing you up out so you can jump much higher as well with better control so that's very cool with, with the jet system okay uh, i can see that on these boards they are strapless but they have the attachments to put straps right exactly i mean we want to be able to put strap we have put already uh, in a lot of people prefer to ride the full strapless because it's a bit more accessible but of course for good riders like you i guess you like if it's a bit wavy or so on to put your feet in the strap and have a bit more control from it so it's uh, you know it's as it's the same batteries and for the radic it's our flex battery you have exactly the same insert from it and we have the same on the back here and for people who are not looking for big speeds and you have three settings in your wake up tell me more about this exactly it's same than for the radic we have the settings eco sport and extreme and basically what happens is if you set in sport and you take you have your battery inside the vineyard the connector will read you on the foil so it's going to put you the setting of the foil but if you unplug this battery and put it in your ravic board you're going to have the same setting in sport but for the ravic which is a different throttle curve and acceleration because of course when you foil you want to have a smoother uh, curve when you accelerate otherwise you're just going to fly away so this is what we made um, with the team uh, of engineers And one of the coolest features that I really love about Awake Winya is that it's fully interchangeable plug and play solution. So there are no cables, no data cables, no power cables. No which, screws. No <laughs> screws. There is nothing to close. There is no hatch to close. There is no need for screwdriver. You just plug the battery in, plug the foil part and you're ready to go. Just three parts, right? Exactly. I mean, that's our... Um... We keep that in mind all the time. We want to make the ride as much accessible for everybody and like cut the time between land to water. So basically that's what we want to do. So everything from hatch, hoses, cables, screws, they always get lost or again get stuck or damaged or so, or so ever. So by removing these things, you have much a better reliable board and also 
much nicer to handle when you're going for your session. And another great thing to mention is everything is interchangeable. So you can put the battery into your awake Ravik, then you put the same battery into Inya and you ride all day long. Exactly, and it's also something we have been thinking for how to reward uh, the customers of awake which have been with us since the beginning, since the first years. And someone who has purchased a Ravik 1 in the early years, in 2018, will be able to take the batteries and use it in the vineyard. And that's very cool because if today you want to switch to the foil, you can have your electric surfboard, your e-foil and just take any of your batteries, new ones, old ones and just put them in all your board. So it's like it's more batteries, more ride, more fun. Yeah, let's see the, the remote. How does it work? I mean, here you have a floating strap that you put around your wrist. It's orange, so when it floats, you can see it. And then you put it inside your fingers here and you accelerate with the thumb. Okay, with the mods we have done, it's very progressive when you start riding with the foil. So it goes very smooth in the beginning and after at the end of the trigger, it starts increasing the speed much more. Which means when you're standing up, you can just have a lot of play without making too many mistakes. But if you want to release the power of the board, you can press full and then you're going to really feel it. So if you want to start making a turn and accelerating in the turn, you will be able to play much more. Which is very cool for like advanced riders who really want to time a little bit better and you know have this up and down with the turn and follow the, the board. Okay, I can see there's a display. What kind of information that we can have it there? I mean, you can see the speed uh, you're going at. You can see which mode you, you are on as well. You can see your battery level of the board, also the battery level of the hand controller. And now with the new hand controller that we we are launching this year as well, which is coming together with the Vigna as well at the same time. We're going to have a lot more features and we're going to be able to implement these features slowly and slowly to have much more cool features for the riders to be able to change and exchange about the riding data and compete together and so on. So that's what we're going for is to grow the community. We're implementing a lot of new features for you guys to be able to, to play around and even if you're riding here in Portugal, you can features and challenges in the uh, in Sweden as well. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. So all the settings are in, on the re on the remote or you will have uh, an app? We have an app on the phone. Okay. So you connect your poor Kilish uh, on your battery and after you can connect to your battery and then change the settings. In the app, you can change your modes. You can see the temperature of your battery. You can make all the updates, contact the support, check the user manual. You have a lot of features. You can also now create your login and uh, you have a garage. Uh, with your user account so you can register all your boards and we can see everything remotely from Sweden and uh, help you out and uh, answer any questions basically the whole team. So you talk about security, I know you use a leash, how does it work? Yeah, basically you have this power key leash we call it which is going to be attached to your vest directly and then you're going to plug it in one of the two holes which are made for it here in the battery. So this will activate the board so you can see the LED is turned green, that means the, board is connected, the battery is connected to the board, so you're ready to go. And then, if you would fall, this will pop out and it's going to cut the power. So even if you swim to the board and you squeeze the trigger, nothing will happen. Then you just go back on the board, put it in, and you're good to go. Awesome! And, of course, I have to mention, guys, this board is made in Sweden, so the quality is really amazing. I have to be honest with you, it's one of the most expensive e on in the market, but you get what you pay for. And these guys have been on the tour for over months now. They have, like, 15 boards running all day long, 8 batteries, and no issues so far, right? Yeah, exactly. It's quite interesting Now we're going for a full Euro tour to launch a Vigna and also show all the Ravix and so on. So we have a lot of, of demos. Uh, we have this Week days where we invite customers to come ride with us together with our partners and so far we have had a lot of uh, new riders this year which is very exciting and as uh, the board and batteries have been running all the time so it's also for, for us a very good uh, test to really push the limit of each battery running a few times every day every day every day so far so good so we're very happy and uh, it's uh, getting better every year actually so all right uh, as I'm really interested in wave riding, what's the advantage of this kind of jet on the, on the waves? I mean, this we'll have to, to test more on the waves. That's also why we're coming to Portugal, is to challenge a little bit the waves here that you have. Um, so my guess, let's not put it before we actually go, go in, is that it's going to give you a really good drive and grip in the wave, which I think is going to be very interesting. And, um, and then you'll have to try to, to okay. feel it. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll see about that. Like I always say, Pedro. Let's go to the water. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you said it.
riding away Quinia. So smooth, so much power. Love it. Here we go guys, another GT foil has been successfully tested. I'm very excited about this new trend. First, to be honest, I was quite skeptical how jet will perform in the water. I was expecting less efficiency, more drag, but actually what I didn't expect is how more power jet is going to give you. When you get started, when propeller in the open prop starts spinning, it's giving you less power and it's kind of jerky, it's less smooth. With jet, it's unbelievably smooth. You press the trigger and it, woo, it gets the speed so smoothly, which makes it much easier for you to get going. Despite this board being so small, it's just 60 liters, basically like a professional board, it feels very floatable and quite easy to get going, even on such a choppy and windy day. Another thing I was skeptical about is this hand controller with a thumb. I get used to e-foils that are controlled like a gun with a pointing finger. This one is controlled by thumb, but it's quite user-friendly and very intuitive. I didn't have any issue learning this. I was up riding on my first try. It was unbelievably easy. The only thing that I didn't like, honestly, is this security magnet. It's quite annoying. So if you're not a beginner, I would definitely get rid of this security magnet and just attach it in front. It gets much easier to get started. All in all, looks like we have a winner here and I'm very excited to see Awake is finally joining the e-foil industry. That's all for today, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the new trend of jet e-foils. Are they going to be replacing the traditional prop e-foils or it will be a separate direction? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on riding. I'll see you next time. Cheers!